Hello and welcome to Film Companion and South. You're watching Not A Taller Review. My name is Hriday Ranjan. This week's release is Tuck Jagdish, directed by Shiva Nirvana, starring Nani, Ritu Varma, Jagbati Babu, and an ensemble cast. Have you ever looked back at the past with nostalgia tinted glasses? Do you miss the films of the 90s and early 2000s? Stories about warring families that resort to violence to resolve issues? Well, look no further than Tuck Jagdish, which will take you on a nostalgic trip that you didn't pay the tickets for. When Adisesh Naidu, played by Nasir, passes away, his sons Bose, played by Jagbat Bob, and Jagdish, played by Nani, are embroiled in a messy land dispute. Gradually, what was once a thriving joint family begins to fight among themselves in order to get more land than the other. When we first meet Jagdish, it is clear that he is far removed from the world of bloodshed and violence. The film then is the unraveling of how Jagdish brings together a family that has been torn apart by greed and selfishness. Director Shiva Nirvana takes his own time to get things moving, which results in a series of scenes that we have seen in a number of films over the decades. The evil landowners, sickles and unethical hackers, poor people's land being taken over by the evil rich, the film aims to please and satisfy but never to take a step of inventiveness. The outdated storyline doesn't add to the viewing experience in any way at all. Take Jagdish's values. He values familial connections as paramount and yet the plot slips into slippery territories of bloodlines and adoptions that completely defeat the previous point. In spite of a performer like Nani and an extremely talented ensemble cast, no scene makes you go, ah, nice, well written. There are so many sickles in the movie that if you added hammers, the film could pass off as communist propaganda. While Nani stands out in what is his first mass masala role, the film is not able to shake off its fluff Neither is it able to pander to the mass masala viewers either. It is clearly made for the big screen, but by the time the interval bank comes, you can see it coming from Shrikakulam in Konark Express. Or take some of the plot points. Nani asks Aishwarya Rajesh to press a button for a red light that he has installed on top of the house if she is in trouble. And this, in the age of smartphones and Snapchat, he is resorting to a red 10 watt bulb. Without giving away any spoilers, we see Nani come into a position where he can solve the problems of the villagers. But we barely see him at work. What we get instead are scenes after scenes of him resolving the villagers' problems using strange analogies. Hello, Taknaid Garu. I have a Aadhar card. I have a Aadhar card. I have a Aadhar card. I have a Taliban. Please, I have a Taliban. I have a Taliban. Please. The ensemble cast is more or less wasted. Naresh is hamming all through and Rao Ramesh seems like he's giving proxy for the usually efficient actor that we see on screen. Aishwarya Rajesh doesn't get much in terms of plot and Jagwati Babu seems bored throughout. But perhaps the film's biggest drawback is that in trying to prod through the convoluted plot, Ritu Verma is completely lost in the film. We see her either standing by Nani's side or gasp in wonder when he comes up with a solution. It's like she's standing for her own pelichuplu. Nani's breakout masala film gives him moments to brood, to mouth dialogues, to emote and to romance, but it is done with an overall shallowness that permeates the entire project. I was curious to see how Nani would solve the land issue, one that is marred by myriad elements like dynasty and caste and class. What we get instead is a highlights package of all the films we have seen over the last decade. The film would probably have connected to families in theatres. But as things stand, the film quickly wears out its welcome on OTT. Tak Jagdish is strictly for the fans. It is dull and unimaginative. I understand the film was made for family audiences, 
But are we discounting the fact that families also have brains and can think intelligently for themselves? By the time the film tries to justify why it's called Tak Jagdish, you are too disinterested to invest in the story. Tak Jagdish, I'm sorry to say, is disappointing fare from an actor who is much loved for taking the path not taken. From an actor who always comes up with fresh stories, this one is stuck in the past. In that sense, it is 90s low stuck Jagdish. Thank you so much for watching our review of the film Tak Jagdish. Please remember to press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. If you do, then Lord Ganesha will ensure that your children become MRO without studying.